M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So just a quick discussion here on these couple of hotspots that are out now. This is the UVIA G1, or it could be the R Finder. If you use the R Finder one, it's got Pi Star and it has a Pi Star Zero inside it. So it just works good. So that's the one I recommend you get. It's called the R Finder. They're about £170 delivered in the UK. And the nice thing is they're completely portable. They have a bat batteries in the bottom. These batteries are not expensive. Shows you how much charge you've got left. And uh, you do have uh, like a, a, a micro USB charger in this one. It might be USB-C in the R Finder one. This is the budget O-Star one. Um, so that's a really nice hotspot. And I take this in the car all the time. And it just works great. And the battery will last for ages. So then on to the open spot. Now, this is the open spot 3 cross mode. And, you know, it, it is a good device. But after two years, the battery's dead. You've got to buy a new battery. And in, in the UK, by the time you've had it delivered... Uh, with the tax it's like 80 pound um, or maybe a bit more so then you're left with a choice here the, the at the moment for example shark rf are doing a promotion and they're selling the open spot 4 which does have uh, you know partial cross mode except for d star for 199 plus shipping so about 220 but then you've got to add uh, about 30 pound at least for tax so it's about £250, but you don't get a TV. Where's the screen? Yeah. If Shark RF made a hotspot with a built-in screen, because what they have done is brought out a new app, so it's easier to configure using your mobile phone and the PC, uh, but it still means you need two devices. Yeah. The good thing about a, a hotspot like this, one device, and, you, and it just works great. Um, so um, with the OpenSpot 4 Pro, you get full cross mode. You get an onboard transcoder chip. So the, basically the transcoding is better because the hardware is in the actual device. It's not reliant on the server back at OpenSpot like the OpenSpot 3 is to do good transcoding. And so you get better audio levels as well because it can be adjusted uh, with the open spot 4 pro it can't be so if you get really loud and quiet stations on dmr there's not much you can do about it with the open spot 4 pro 4 but with the pro you can so my main thing is you know 160 works great but no cross mode remember no cross mode on this one but it's using the pi star system lovely screen or 250 with partial cross mode or if you want the open spot for pro version you're talking about 300 about 330 pound uk but you get everything but after two years the battery is no good and when you do change the battery you have to spend about 90 pound and i'm completely unhappy that the battery costs so much you can't just they haven't used a battery that we can just buy off the shelf and just swap over because it's very simple swap it's a simple little connector and the battery comes out but the problem is that the connector that is in the open spot is quite specific to open spot and i've looked around and you can't find the same connector you'd have to sort of solder around the the other end of the battery where the wires connect to the battery to make it work it's doable but it seems very faffy so that's my opinion bye for now seven three